Hello people, my name is Rage and welcome and all to Afterbirth and today, well today I'm feeling like playing a little bit of Zazzy Boy, just a little bit of fire loads of blood over it and the problem goes away, much like a good strong cleaner but a little bit more disturbing. Many congruent with a K because I'm cool, extra Eight diddly diddly, 43. So when you ever feel the need to diddly diddly, remember, 43 diddlies is the magic number. It would make Ned Flounders. Flounders? Flanders? Flounders in the sea? But is it? No, it's Flanders. It's Flounders. I forgot a new thing about zoos! Okay. Alright. Everybody chill out. I did not just say I've forgotten a thing about zoos. Okay, I might have done. So is this gonna just like immediately put us to maxed out? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good start there for an Azazel run. So not only have I embarrassed myself by forgetting Simpsons knowledge, I mean seriously, Simpsons knowledge. How could I forget Simpsons knowledge? I then immediately decided to randomly talk about zoos and I am going to take damage. But it was only half a heart because I went for the fire instead of the bomb. So I think that makes it. Oh, there was a tinted rock. I should have gone up, but I didn't see in time because my brain is slow. Wait. That's what the teachers all used to tell me. It makes so much sense now. And of course, tactical damage there just to clear that room with uh, rapidity because otherwise, you know, I mean, I don't have time to hunt down individual little lumps. I mean, who has time to hunt down little lumps? Certainly not me. No, but for real, can I can I have a bomb drop, please? Is that is that something I'm, a, I'm allowed or are we just going to... Nope, just a key. Well, that kind of sucks, but it's also kind of fine. I mean, we are max damage first floor as Zazel. I don't see this run being, well, let's just say incredibly challenging, but that's fine. Magic Mushroom, come on! Oh, how fun would that be? Actually, range up does affect the Zazel now, so we've got a little bit of a longer brimstone. That's okay. Uh, yeah, actually, I wonder what would happen if you got every single mum range up item after every single boss on the Zazel. Would you eventually actually reach normal size brimstone? I mean, you'd think you would, but I don't know how much range up you need on a Zazel to reach maximum normal brimstone. I bet it's a metric ton because a mum's range up item is 4.75, which is fantastic when it gets to distributed into something like Libra, because that spreads a lot of good stats around, that sucks, that spreads a lot of good stats around, but 4.75 range to Azazel's Brimstone is barely noticeable to the eye, so I definitely think there is, I mean you'd probably need, what, a couple hundred range up? Maybe not that much, but I'd certainly say at least in the 70-80 range before you start seeing something that's like, yeah, this is working. Ugh, I'm only taking Headless Baby, who I hate because I'm already flying and therefore it can't backfire and made me make me stand in creep. I otherwise wouldn't, okay? Ah, <sighs> do you prefer... Alright, and this is a big question. Massive question. Aquariums or zoos? I think there's two types of people when it comes to aquariums or zoos. Now, there's also the thing that, obviously, a lot of zoos do tend to have aquarium sections, so it kind of makes aquariums sort of a little bit mute, but normally a zoo's aquarium section is more along the lines of uh, some small tanks with some small fish, and, you know, they don't have the big sort of shark tunnel-y type deals going on, so... <laughs> Got annihilated shot speed. The damage is nice. Devil deal. I ah oh, guys, is demon turret baby worth dying for? I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure if he's worth dying for. That's a difficult thing to try and try and decide. I'm just kind of here and there on it, you know? Okay, so now that Azazel has been whipped real good, that's uh, going to really help us out. The little bit of range up is obviously great for killing the flies who tend to be very good at uh, damaging Azazel. And you guys in the comments, I did not go to the Prometheus school of running away from things. Just sometimes. Don't you ding me, okay? Don't you even dare. And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's so much fun. I kind of like it. He's, he's always enjoyable, is Zazzy Boy. Ooh, retrovision and back ass. Okay, well, at least we found a few bad pills. I mean, retrovision isn't inherently bad, to be fair. It's just kind of... Uh, ooh, that was a little bit scary. Did I not go in the trap room? 
I didn't go in the trap room. What if there's great things in here? There might be great thi- well, I mean, oh, that's a fool. Alright, well, I guess- no, I'll clear the room. I mean, we might get a bomb or a key or something and at this stage. That's kind of useful. I was tempted to just get away without doing this, but I think it's just- I mean, I'm gonna slaughter it, aren't I? So, why- why not exert some power and slaughter a few things, yeah? You know, why not do that? And I think I do prefer zoos, but honestly, I can't say I've ever been to a zoo ever where the animals haven't just been lazy bastards and just lied there and done literally nothing now obviously they shouldn't be p performing for you you know they're living things and they're just doing what they're doing but i feel like i always choose the bad time of year because if you go to a zoo in summer all the animals are just gonna be really warm and tired as hell if you go in the winter they're always going to be really cold and hiding away so i feel like spring and autumn is the sweet spot for zoos but I've never been in one, so I have no idea what an active zoo <laughs> looks like, which I feel like is really weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, something that we don't even need to bring up, honestly. Wait, 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 wait. I'm in this room, and there is a... Did I just get in the shop for free because of Curse of the Maze? Is that is that what happened? I'll see what this is. Two of diamonds. All right, paid for itself. Good job. That was interesting. This should be... Fine, can we get a double and a triple? Lovely. And an extra five. If only that had been doubled. Oh yeah, the item room. I'd forgotten I didn't even have the item room. I do like it when you're this powerful this early because you kind of just forget that you even need more items. I hate that that doesn't work. Transcendent tears should make brimstone an infinite length. Because that would be so badass, wouldn't it? Just forever going the entire length of the room, just back and forward. It would just be beautiful. Yeah, it would be strong, but so what? You're allowed to be strong in Isaac. It's like the point. Okay, that was... Yay, a free spectral baby. Whoa. Oh, man. I'm just going to get magic mushroom real quick. Okay, fine. I, I see how it is. I, I see how it is. That's fine. That's all right. I'll just move on with my life. But yeah, if this was any other character, we'd actually be kind of struggling here. So, for once, I'm not thinking, damn, if I was on a different character, this run would be so cool with the tier effects I've got. I mean, obviously, the uh, continuing prop. In fact, no, Proptosis with continuing tiers is terrible because Proptosis sets your tiers at a fixed length. And while it's definitely worth it, the damage up is unbelievable, it means that you can't really transcend them that much. Two of hearts, obviously not going to do much for us, but we've not had a single HP up all uh, run so far, which is uh, quite rare. Though I guess the range up and the basic HP ups are the two common generic boss drops, so we shouldn't be too surprised about that. That was a good amount of money. We can go to the shop quite nicely. Yeah, we'll grab a free uh, Minecraft. In fact, actually, oh yeah, it's the one that summons that. I thought it was the Cracker Jacks, but it's the one that summons a movable TNT block. That's quite funny. <laughs> I mean, it's such a inherently pointless item. Well, actually, it's basically a bomb. Like, it's a one-charge bomb buddy that you choose when it explodes. So, it does have a certain amount of utility to it that perhaps makes it uh, very worth it. And there we have it. Very, very easy boss rush. And not even a second drop. Not even a second drop. I mean, I just feel lied to more than anything. Oh god, it's just so much damage. Just so much damage. I've not taken a hit in ages. Though, in before I take a hit from a dingle dangle, it just seem, does seem right. I would love a boss in future DLC. And that excites me, actually. The fact that there's probably going to be, eventually, more DLC just on top of everything else. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll move it down, I guess, here in this corner. And then, boom. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, man, guys, the items on offer on this run. <laughs> I mean, I still can't complain because Proptosis is worth, like, four items, to be fair. But still, oh, God, that would just, this would be sucking if I wasn't Azazel right now. So thank you, Azazel. Thank you for existing. You're a good, you're a good one. And that troll bomb effectively just cleared the room for me. So, yeah, not bad as well. Where is the shop? That's the question. Zap. And our boss is the Wretched. And the Wretched is dead. And there we have our angel room. So that's nice. We'll handle the pills afterwards. Scapula. Oh my god. I'm just so pleased with that. Zap. Okay. So the angel is taking. Ow. 
two full zaps, but I didn't fully do the second zap, so that kind of sucks. But there we have it. Ooh, what did we get? Please be a... It is a Joker. Fantastic. That is definitely worth more to us than the return to the thing, retrovision. What are you? Health up. That's technically okay. It's not a big deal. And then we'll keep the Joker. But I do want to go find the shop before I move on from this floor. I mean, we're making very good time. It's so small! We're making very good time anyway, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, the fact that there'll probably be more DLC, and the fact that after, what, maybe... 50 hours at least in Afterbirth, I'm still nowhere near the equivalent of real Platinum God. That's... That's quite ridiculous. Why did it appear over there? What is that? I just wanted to smash the mushrooms. How could you do this to me? Oh, there's still one alive. Can't believe it. What does he think he's doing? Still being alive? Just so rude. Ooh. Ooh, oh my. Oh. Oh my. Diplopiopla. Hey. I do like Diplopiopla. Hey, it's a good, it's a good item. Is there going to be a curse room off here? No, it's just a very, very normal floor. Interesting. That was a poor way of taking damage there. What are you? Per throw? Come on! Ah, oh, this is like the floor of many good offerings. I'm going to take the Joker over the per throw simply because I want to have a much higher chance at actually fighting Mega Satan and knocking Azazel's Mega Satan out. I think that makes more sense, but god damn do I want both of those. If only we could have found the double double holding. Actually, was there a starter deck in the, in the shop? I'm going to feel really... Really stupid if there was a starter deck in the shop, though I can't quite remember. Though typically we are amnesiaing again, but we actually don't have Necro, so that's fine. It's not a big deal. I mean, it used to be like Necro, oh, but now it's like at least it's not the Dank Depths. Though I still maintain Necro is actually harder than the Dank Depths, so maybe I shouldn't be too excited. And hello. Oh, I would love to find the uh, card item that uses your active for you at free time. Oh, and a double item vision, because then you could get four of the same item, which presumably would be unbelievably overpowered, especially if it was on so Like, imagine the damage boost of four Polyphemuses. I mean, yes, you'd only be firing one brimstone every, like, full moon, but by gum would it just thrash things. It would just destroy them. You'd make small black holes every time you fired. Kind of... I kind of want that in my life, you know? I kind of very much want that in my life. Stop firing. Still no drops. That's okay, though. I can deal. I can deal. Nothing going on. Give me the item room. Give me the item room. Oh, we already went this way, so I guess we want to go up. That makes sense. Yep, there we go. Oh, wait. No, we already went this way. Am I... Am I... Oh, wait. We went down... What? Guys, amnesia is confusing me. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I guess out of all the things that are allowed to confuse me, Amnesia is definitely one of them. But I feel like I just went in circles and I wasn't aware of how that was happening. Yay, we could double Mum's bra and have twice the bra. That definitely seems like a worthwhile use of this item. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> Can I look back at the screen yet? Okay, we're good. We're good. Nobody panic. <laughs> I love that so much. So, so bad in every way. But I guess we got the mum transformation, so it's, it's better than nothing. We'll bomb that up, see what's in that chest. Nothing particularly good, though we do make bombs on it. Suicide King, we will we will put that back right the hell now until I find a extra life. Though even Judas' shadow isn't completely worth it, because then we lose the ability to fly. And flying, of course, is very, very useful. Though we still need the item room and the shop, and just generally this floor needs to stop hiding its secrets from me, because it's just difficult to uh, find all of the secrets. All of the many, many secrets. One makes you larger? Definitely do not need that, so that can stay there. Still no item room, though I have a feeling I'm on my way to it, because I kind of just have to... Nope, that's back there. Okay. That's, um... That's fine. This is... This is fine. This is exactly where I... Where I wanted to be. Totally, this is completely... Well, I mean, this is actually fine. So, that's okay, at least. And then this guy... Okay, but still, no... I can't do that. I need an extra key unless this chest is good. Oh, well. 
That might be worth it, but I also want the shop, so we'll go to the shop first. How have I not found the shop or the item room? I'm I'm very worried by this whole occurrence. I, I'm going to get one of those rooms that has both the shop and the item room off it, aren't I? That's, that's what's got to happen here. It just it just has to... Oh, you hit me. Hey, we do get the extra key anyway. All right, item room. Good. So we'll open you and then waste an extra key on that key lock. Fantastic. Thank you so much. That's actually just fantastic on Azazel because it means our brimstone does this cool circular thing which kind of melts everyone around us. So that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But I definitely didn't need to duplicate that because it would just be effectively an extra bit of tears. How did he hit me there? And how is he not dying? He's been stood on that creep for so long. I mean, it's gimped our range a little bit, but not massively. So am I going crazy then? Where is... The shop. Not that the shop matters now, because I accidentally wasted a key, which obviously sucks. But, um, I'm just very confused. I'm just very, very confused by the layout of this floor. I believe the boss was, was over here. Yeah, I got a coin there, and that's all well and good. And then I went up here, and, and then, and then, and then this was the bra room. I remember the bra room. And then, and then the boss is over here. Alright, I did it, team! I found my adversary. <laughs> Ah, uh, good times. Good times. Blue cap, that's fine. And honestly, not devil deals that I'm too desperate to do. A good piece bar, however. I'll definitely do both of them. I think that's better than having those red hearts. And now we can move on with our lives. Uh, yes, yes, we can. I'm just, I'm still upset at not being able to find the shop, but I don't have a key anyway, so really, Bob's your uncle. Hello? You're fine. I don't know if Tiny Planet doubles your brimstone damage because two parts of uh, the brimstone are technically now hitting the enemy, but it definitely does give me more clearance, and clearance is what you need when you've got Azazel short range. That bomb, not really useful, nor is the money. We kind of just need a way to spend it all. Ow! Seriously? And there we go. I think I'm overestimating slightly my damage. I'm not quite melting people as fast as I want to be. Nothing fantastic going in here, but we'll make that go back to five. Just because I do feel bad for my donation machine. I'm, what the hell? That got seriously? I guess it at least made up for its terror. Nope, nope. It, uh, it went for... Oh, no, then it made up. I can't tell what it's doing. I, You know, at one point, I feel like it loves me. But then another point, I feel like it hates me. And I'm, am I in an abusive relationship with the Curse of the Maze? Is that what's happening here? Because I, I, I decline. I respectfully decline. Ooh. How are you not dead? I mean, how are you not dead? Am I not giving people enough brimstone time? Am I just not giving people enough love? That might be... That might be a serious concern. We've not had a four golden chess room on this run, which is upsetting. Because after all, you guys know, I do like the quad golden chest. It's it's very, very enjoyable. Ah, fantastic. A bonus key. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, doubling these is obviously very pointless. So, yeah, I guess we're just going to look at the lovely, beautiful face of the Necrocomicum Comicum. And then uh, move on with our lives. Uh, whoop. Guppy, guppy, guppy. Not guppy, but I will certainly take a key and three spirit hearts. That's absolutely flawless. Uh, absolutely flawless. Uh, and then we'll deal with this. And we actually have a lot of bombs to go through on these skulls. So that's completely fine. Though I should do it after I've... Uh, Cleared the room so I don't end up extending the room by finding the host. Alright, one there. One there. One there. And then we'll step in and back in. See what we end up with. And another one there. That's okay. And alright. So we'll see what happens. Ooh, the item room. Give me a good double. I mean, the angel room might also have a good double. We'll see. Ooh, double Capricorn all stats up. That's probably worth it, isn't it? Like... That's going to be good for us in all senses. I'm, I'm going to go for that. I'm I'm going to go for that. I think that is definitely worth getting uh, two lots of all stats up. I mean, that's just fantastic. That really, really makes me happy. We'll double our keys to our hearts. Doesn't matter. The Empress doesn't matter. The moon. We'll go to the moon. We'll flam it to the moon. Why did the moon take me to not a secret room? Am I, am I going crazy here or... 
did it just not do what it's supposed to do for some unspecified reason because I'm believing that's what happened. I'm just not gonna judge it. I'm just not gonna judge it and we're all fine. That's that's I'm just gonna I'm just gonna live in blissful ignorance of the world and the tragedy around me and then that'll be great. And we do get a free spirit heart. I didn't even notice that the first time. Did I just move it away from I did just move it away from the bomb, so that's fantastic. Ooh, loads more money. I'm gonna buy all of the things in this shop. You guys have no idea. Well, I mean, I guess I really, really didn't need to. Okay, I just want to kill the boss now. Boss, mo oh well, that kind of worked out very, very well. And even more money that I will never be able to spend. That is just so sad. And warm. wow. That was genuinely more damage than I thought it would be. That's quite excessive. That is quite, quite excessive. Whenever you're ready. I, this fly isn't going to kill me. But like, seriously, there you go. Well done. I'm proud of you. Okay, we didn't get the devil deal, so I guess it's worth a... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do we think it is worth either of those items? I mean, obviously the Nord Leaf's kind of good. Boomerang Tears doesn't do much for our Brimstone, apart from make it very wonky. But with such a short-range Brimstone, would that even matter that much? I mean, I am very curious as to how it would work. I'm going to take Boomerang Tears. Ah! All it does is give me an extra extended bit of the Brimstone. That's fantastic. And then we'll use the Joker and uh, have some Angel fun. There we go. Vroom. That worked out nicely, because that should, in theory, cancel the boss rush, right? It does cancel the boss rush. Awesome. That worked out really, really well. So, Boomerang Tears, pretty good on Azazel if you've already got the orbital, uh, orbital action from uh, the... Uh, tiny planet to make it happen so that's fantastic i think it's worth skipping the boss rush there we're not insanely powerful so it might do more damage to me than i really want it to do and i just don't want to take that risk oh okay there's a limit on it so ah i see i see so what it's done is i've got basically my normal brimstone thanks to the uh tiny planet, which is good, and then it's just given me this little extra extendy waggly bit <laughs> that I can use how I want. That's really quite cool. I'm a fan of that. I don't know if it's doing as much damage or anything along those lines, but I definitely think it's quite useful to be able to just have a little bit of range on my brimstone, so that's really awesome. He died quite nicely, and then he killed him for me, which is good. I don't like that the Mum's Knife transformation trails the knife after you. I mean, I get why, because giving you a free Mum's Knife, even if it was only melee, is probably a very too powerful transformation for one that you'll see. Oh, nice! The one that you'll see this often. But it kind of reduces this transformation to pure uselessness, because the knife is the only thing it gives you, right? I'm, I'm at least a bit sure I'm... It might come with a few stats, I don't actually know, I need to look it up, but if the knife really is the only thing, like I do think it is, it does make it absolutely awful. The speed is fine, and now that we've got the key, we can actually take Devil Deals. Hmm, might be okay, I don't know, I'm, I'm not, I mean, Judas' Shadow is nice and all, don't get me wrong, and it gives us an extra chance if we die, but... Ah, go on then. We'll take the empty vessel and then obviously we want to get rid of our red hearts for that purpose. And then we will move on with our lives and down we go to the next womb. See, it's always weird if you get scarred womb one but not scarred womb two because it's like, did it heal itself? Is that what is that what happened there? Tactical damage, of course, to clear the dingle dangles with much efficiency and getting rid of the red hearts has the added benefit of giving us lots of Polaroid. So I guess that's fine. Did I take damage again there? When did I take damage again? I don't remember taking damage again. Did I get lied to about the damage that I was taking? Oh yeah, I can make it extend and boomerang off the wall now, can't I? Because it does weird things. Oh, do I need bouncing tears to do that? I'm not inherently sure. There's a lot of a lot of interesting brimstone reactions that I have not really fully uncovered yet. So I will have to do that. Troll bomb, you stay away from me. Thank you very much. This looks like I'm going in the correct direction, if only for the fact that it's taking me a while to get there. Lemon party. Yeah, look at that. Just a wow. I mean, I have got finding the boss bloody down in this game. Hey, up it lives. How you doing? 
get rid of your eyes, because, you know, they're not helping you. They're not helping you. I do think my little extendy bit of brimstone does uh, less damage, but it could just be my imagination, honestly. See, look, the extra range proving very useful on a fight like uh, this. Oh, unfortunately, I did take damage there, but that's okay. Ooh, we get another devil deal? Seriously? That's awesome. Ah, it's just crampy. It's just crampy. A very, very ferocious crampy. Bloody hell. I mean, yeah, we'll take it because we might as well have it. But jeez, crampy, calm yourself. That was, that was excessive. I'm actually a little bit concerned. If we don't get good chest items, I'm not 100% sure how effectively we're going to be able to kill Mega Satan. I mean, yes, we're doing a lot of damage and... That's obviously nice, but at the same time... Okay, we kind of just destroyed that chub, but it is a very low health chub, so... I don't know, I'm still... I'm kind of 50-50 on this whole thing. And yeah, it does seem like... Whoa! Did my Krampus head brimstone just go really weird as well? Because if it did, that's definitely interesting. Yeah, my brimstone is doing way more damage if I get my face on there. So that's interesting to see. Hierophant! Fantastic! Definitely worth it then, even if we did have the disappointingly lame golden chest in there. I mean, we've definitely got enough keys to open everything that we find. So you never know, we might end up with... Uh, a Cricket's Head, yeah, and obviously Cricket's Head would set this off the charts, because our damage would be multiplied so ridiculously high. What are you, health up? Guess we'll take you. Actually, I should have thought about that more than a second, because now we've lost Polaroid Invincibility. That kind of... So actually, no, we've not lost Polaroid Invincibility, because the, ha the heart is empty, right? That's... I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, we're effectively one-shotting damn near every boss, so uh, I'm probably being a little bit overly concerned. Yeah, and I still have the invincibility. Fantastic! Just, ooh, don't mind if I do, Curved Horn. Don't mind if I do. And yeah, there we <laughs> That was a satisfying explosion of blood. Though don't tell anybody I said that. Okay. Vroom. And vroom. I don't want to use, obviously, my Krampus head, because I'm going to use it immediately on the devil. Though I probably want to save it for the uh, later parts of the fight more than anything. But yes, let us uh, go up. I don't think taking the Eternal Heart's worth it, because it will disable my shield, and the shield is worth more than one extra hit, 100%. Alright, here we go. What we got? Dry Baby, fantastic. Uh, not a terrible set of items. Definitely could be better. Virgo's obviously nice, but Sticky Bombs, Egg Sack Bombs, I still don't understand how this works, because it seems like they're just not Egg Sack Bombs. I've can't help but feel like there's something wrong with it, but either way, into glorious battle we go! And we do have another chance as Judas's Shadow, should we fuck this up, but then we can only get hit once, which might obviously be an issue. That was, uh, excessive. Okay, our damage is certainly doing fine. We kind of just, uh, took him out there. We should, in theory, one-shot the easy horseman, which we are completely doing. In fact, we're one-shotting death, which is excessively fantastic. We instantly got him to the next phase. We can just smush the hell out of him. I'm saving Grambus's head, I think, for the angels, probably. I don't know. There's not anything I majorly need to use it on in this fight. Did you actually survive? That's quite funny. And then we've got Lust. They're not a problem. That's fine. I mean, have we taken damage? I don't think we've taken damage. But then again, why else would we have the shield? So I'm not entirely sure. Oh, God. So many troll bombs. So, so many troll bombs. But we did it! And instantly back. And then it's time for the angels. The angels come and see. Yeah, I don't think we need Krampus's head really any point. So I'm going to use it on the skull part. In fact, this was a really... Really, really easy Mega Satan fight. I'm kind of unsure as to what I was uh, worried about here. I'm basically just going to tank it until he dies because I've got so much health that it's completely irrelevant at this point. And there we go. Easy game, easy life, bum ba da bum, Zazzy boy done sucky baby and black baby. Okay then, Zazzy boy done his mega Satan. That's fantastic. Alrighty guys, I'll see you all next time. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. Oh good boy. You